arrival of warmer weather comes the arrival of those teeny tiny bugs called midges. You may have been swatting at them or shooing them away for the past couple of days. Shannon Martin joins us live from near the lakeshore. And Shannon, they are a nuisance, but they're harmless, right? Yeah, they're harmless, but they sure are annoying. You know, just when you thought you could put away your snow brush, I say keep it out so you can swat off all the midges. We talked to an expert today who says for every square meter along the lakeshore, there are 4,000 midges. Imagine that all along Lake Ontario. We are talking hundreds of thousands of them. Finally, after a long winter, we get to do this. Only there's one little problem, actually more like a million of them. They were in like clouds, so You're I think you them. have one dead on your nose, actually. Probably. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> you get home and you're shaking them out of your clothes. Midges, the non-biting cousins of mosquitoes, are making their first appearance of 2015 in a big way. I notice you've got several on your jacket right now. That's right. That's right. They're, they're very healthy. Well, if I didn't eat breakfast, it's good because I'll get it while I'm riding. They thrive near water, laying as many as 100 eggs at a time. They float down to the bottom of lakes or streams, re-emerging seven weeks later. With a lifespan of just three to five days, midges only have one thing on their mind. Uh, they're mating uh, because you know what? As adults, they only live for three to five days. So this is their chance to make a new generation. When you're on that walking path or on your bike and you ride through a swarm, it's a big group of them mating. Yeah, it is. The senior researcher at the Ontario Science Centre says midges do serve a purpose. They're food for fish and help break down organic matter. They're harmless. They're just a nuisance. Yeah, I mean, they can be, if there's lots of them, it can be a real nuisance. You know, their droppings, you know, they eat and they, they poop. Uh, their droppings can mark uh, walls, garages, carports. Mm. They can stain your walls and stuff. But there are things you can do. Keeping the lighting low or having a distracting light somewhere else and changing your lighting to a, a sodium lighting, which is more yellow. They like the bright white stuff. Um, really, that's the only thing you can do. Yeah, so really that's about it. This is just the first mating season of the year. So as you heard him, it goes in about five to seven week cycles. So prepare yourself, we'll have a bit of a break, but we're gonna see more midges right through until October. Ooh. Reporting live from the Lakeshore, I'm Shannon Martin. Ugh, gross, thank you, Shannon. <laughs>